Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be continuing talking about the basics of pathfinding. In this case, talking about locating and moving to a block. This emerald block right here will represent as our waypoint. We want the bot to be able to locate this block within the world and move to it. For some added fun, I'm going to be able to building a dirt wall around the bot block. The bot will have to dig through this wall of dirt in order to reach it. Our goal is to get the bot to stand on top of the block. So we want to make sure the bot is in a position where it may um, add a vertical offset of 1 to the block's position after finding it. And just to make sure the block can't cheat by pillaring inside, we're going to add a small roof. Alright. Let's make the roof out of glass, just so we can see what's going on. Alright. Now, let's dive in. We're going to be modifying our existing bot code for this. So I'm going to write an additional function right here called locate emerald block. Just like before, we're going to need to load MC data. We're going to need to load our functions. So just basically copy over all the old things and just get rid of the part where it says goal. So load mov movements and everything such as just like before. Now, for this case, we're going to be using a function called find block. This function will be able to locate a block around the bot within a given distance. The matching keyword uh, uh, option can be used to specify what type of block we're looking for. Since we're looking for emerald blocks, we're going to use the blocks by name function or keyword and pass an emerald block. So we're going to from MC data get the block with the given name emerald block and then get its ID. By passing this ID to the matching function, or the matching parameter of find block, we're going to locate any blocks with the ID of emerald. We're also going to specify the max distance to 32 blocks. This means the block will look up to 32 blocks away from itself in all directions to find the emerald block. If the emerald block cannot be found, such as, well, there isn't one, we're going to have the bot complain about it in chat and do nothing. If the emerald block was found, we're going to create a new goal which basically we are moving to be inside of the specific block. Now, this basically specifies where, which block we want our bot's feet to be inside of. We want our box, bot's feet to be inside of the block above the emerald. So we're going to be specifying x as emerald block dot position dot x. Copy this three times. And we're going to add one to the position of the emerald because we want the block above. We can now pass those coordinates to the goal block as specified. We can now assign our pathfinder to use that goal. Since the block is not moving, we do not need to specify the true parameter like we did up here. We can just pass the goal directly. Lastly, we're going to replace our follow script with this function. 
so we run this on startup instead of the follow file script. Now, let's test it. Looks like we forgot to import our go block function. We can do that up here using the same approach we did for go follow. As you can see, our bot has successfully found the ember block, find it signed, and is standing on top. This was a shorter video, but hopefully this will help cover the remaining use cases for pathfinding that I had not covered in the previous video. Thank you all very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.